Hi guys, this is day two and three of angelfish care starting from eggs to free swimming. Uh, this is the time when I usually pull the eggs out of the methylene blue. I start doing inspections for bad eggs. I pull them up, I clean them up, I try to make sure that they're not going to get into too much trouble while they're by themselves. So I'm just going to show you that. It's a pretty quick thing, just what you're going to look for. It's a pretty brief video compared to some of the other ones. This is the jar I keep them in. Uh, it normally does not go this clear. This is actually fresh water from yesterday that I treated with methylene blue and it is almost clear now because as it oxidizes with organic material, the methylene blue gets used up. So in this case, I'm sorry, there's a horrible noise, hold on. Oops. Methylene blue gets used up by organic material, so the fact that they laid them on leaves this time means it gets used up constantly. So I've had to change the water three times to keep it good enough to make sure I don't get fungus growing. You can see, well, maybe you can. There, you can see some of the eggs in there. There's, there's a fair amount of water distortion. You can see how many of them have gone white because the male hasn't paid attention to fertilizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull these out and transfer them over now. Normally, you wanna make sure you rinse them pretty well to make sure you get rid of any excess methylene blue because it will damage the filters. But almost all of it's been used up, so I'm not as worried about it as I otherwise would be. Just make sure that that's submerged pretty well. See here, it's quite a few bad. This is a lot worse than they do when he actually pays attention. You can see they're, they're everywhere. Out of the, I don't know, 800 eggs that are in here, that's not a bad number of bad eggs, but it's not great either. I don't like it. I've had a bubbler running in here, so there's a fair number of them that have broken off. So I'm going to go ahead and gather those up with a pipette and uh, transfer those over now. Collecting the stray eggs, I like to pour whatever's left into a cheap wine glass because it's got a good shape and a little divot down on the bottom. You can probably see most of the most of the eggs in there now. I'm going to go ahead and draw out what, what of those I can and I'm going to put them into this thing of fresh water. So now, pick up the clear eggs, which you probably can't see. Yeah, you can see them a little bit there. I'm going to pick all those up, leaving the white ones behind, because those are just asking for fungus. Okay, so I've got everything transferred. I've got the white eggs cleaned up. Now this is day three. They're starting to wiggle. There's not really a whole lot of other features yet. There's not really visible eye spots or anything else at this point. The challenge is pulling all of the bad eggs out. They start to leave stringers which attach them to anything that they get near. This allows them to stick back on the on the leaves as they fall off. Their parents will pick them up and put them back onto whatever the eggs were planted on generally. Sometimes they'll move them someplace else. But being in here, there's not really anything that the strings stick to, so they stick to anything around them, mostly each other, but they will stick to these dead white eggs, and then as the eggs mold, they will start to mold onto the babies. The, uh, the fungus spreads and it will kill a fair amount of them. So the challenge at this point is getting the eggs out and detaching the ones like these two in the center photo here that are attached to two bad eggs and uh, getting those apart without damaging the actual fry. The last thing I'm going to do today is I'm going to knock all of the babies that are developing off of this leaf. And I do that with just filling up some water in this pipette and blowing it over it until everything that can come off does. You can see here, everything has gone off of this. This is safe to remove, and that gives me open areas so that I can just look at the eggs, the bad eggs, and the misdeveloped fry directly.